Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So if you're looking to maybe add a bit of color to your home or your living room, then look no further than the Tekken Smart Bulbs. Now this is a, a replacement or an alternative light bulb to the Philips Hue range. So I have two products here. The first one is the Smart LED light bulbs, and this is an alternative to Philips Hue light bulbs. And the difference between this one and that one is firstly, it's a lot cheaper. And secondly, there's no hub that's required. So you don't need to fiddle around with any bridges or anything like that. The second product I have are smart Wi-Fi switches, also by Tekken. Now, if you want to control not just your lamps and your lights, but anything else that takes a plug in the house, whether it's a kettle, a toaster, your TV maybe, then uh, you can uh, directly plug that into these uh, Wi-Fi plugs and use an application, which I'll link in the description below to control that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up these LED light bulbs into this lamp here, into the lamp at the back there at the top, and hopefully give you guys uh, an overview and a review of how easy it is to set up. So let's just get straight into it. All right guys, a little overview of the bulbs themselves. They come in either singles or in two packs. You can also get them in the B22 or the E27 modes, so the screw or the twist bulbs. And they also have uh, voice activation compatibility with Amazon uh, Echo and Google Home. In addition to that, they are very low voltage, so it gives you 60 watt power in a 7.5 watt usage inside each bulb. And obviously there's millions of colors that you can uh, choose from uh, the application when you connect it through Wi-Fi. In terms of the lifespan, Tekken mentioned that this can run for about 30,000 hours. Now to put that into perspective, if you use this maybe three hours a day, then this bulb will last you approximately 27 years. So extremely long life on the bulbs, which I think is great. So what I'm gonna do now is put this into the lamp here and put the other one into the lamp at the back there at the top. So let's go ahead, connect it with the app and see how it looks. All right guys, I've just put them in, I've plugged it into the sockets, and as you can see, they're going a little bit crazy, so each of them are blinking. So now I need to open up the application and connect them to the Wi-Fi so they can stop flashing and uh, causing you headaches or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open up the Smart Life app. So once you've registered, you should see the uh, Add Device button, so let's go ahead and try to find these. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add these lights manually. So if I go to Lighting, I'll select the first light. I am confirming that the lights were blinking. Now I'll be connecting my Wi-Fi password. So you just have to let this run through the process and hopefully it should connect straight after. Okay, as you can see, the uh, devices have now been found. I can uh, rename them. So I will call this lamp one and the next one lamp two, just for uh, test purposes. So you can change this at any time. Hit completed, now you should have the devices set up in your app. So if you go to all devices, you can see that they're there. So I will hit lamp one, and now I should be able to change the color for lamp one. So I can turn it on and off just by hitting that switch there in the middle. If I go into color mode, then uh, I can obviously change this to whatever color I like. Obviously this is, um, through a black shade, but obviously depending on the light that you have or the lamp you have in the house, it would reflect maybe onto the wall. So I'll go ahead and maybe leave this a nice blue. There we go. I'll go into lamp two, maybe go into color mode again, and I will change that also to blue. As you can see, well, you probably can't see that clearly, but that is now blue. So the other cool thing about this is if you go into the smart tab there at the bottom in the middle, you can also set a scene by connecting both of the light bulbs together. So if I go to add scenario, maybe if I call it movie time, then I can carry out the following actions based on voice commands to maybe the Amazon Echo or the Google Home. So if I go into device, lamp one, brightness, let's say 50% for movie night. So that is quite dim. And then I can add the device for lamp two and have the brightness on that to 50% as well. So various different scenarios you can do. This is just one example of them. And next time you go to do a voice command through Amazon Echo or Google Home, you can just say 
um, Alexa turn on movie time and it should dim the lights to 50% brightness. So that's uh, pretty much everything on the application. It's very straightforward. Now let's go ahead and look a little bit about these switches. Right, much like the smart LED bulbs, they come in either a two pack or a four pack. They're also controlled by uh, voice commands with whichever smart home system you use. And they're also controlled using the Smart Life app for either iOS or Android. You can also set this on a schedule or a timer. So maybe in the morning, this might turn on your kettle or it might turn on the TV at certain times of the day, whatever you'd like it to do, you can set that inside the Smart Life application as well. Now they come with a power switch just on the uh, right hand side of the plug. So when you do plug it in, you can actually control this uh, rather than the switch on the wall. You can turn this on and off by using that on the side there. So I'm gonna put this on, connect it using the Smart Life app again, and then hopefully give you a demonstration of using the application to turn various different household appliances on and off. Right, so I have the switches now connected to this lamp here and also to the fairy light tree there in the corner, which is why it's currently off. So if I go back into the application, add a socket, I can confirm the uh, blinking uh, power light on the side of the plugs are now flashing blue. So obviously you can't see it now, but they were flashing blue and this should be able to pick it up quite straightforwardly. Okay, as you can see, it's now connected. So I will do completed. So now if I turn the switch, it should turn this on. As you can see, the fairy lights back there just went on. So uh, switch one is just there. Let's go back to smart socket two and switch this lamp on here. There you go. Very easy, very straightforward. So you can basically set these switches up with anything and control them using either voice commands or just open up the app. One thing I really like about it, you can control this uh, from way outside of your home. So if for example, you're hundred miles away, then you can also control your lights or your switches remotely as well. So if you want someone to think that you're at home and you want to turn the lights on, then you can do that from far away and people from outside can see that lights are being switched on into the house. Bit of a security thing, so I think that's great to have. In terms of the prices, the four pack switches come at 17 pounds on Amazon and the uh, light bulbs, the two pack are around 24 pounds. So I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can purchase these, so do check them out. In terms of my opinion, when I'm looking to buy something like this, I always look at the ease of setup. And for me, it was just smooth, very easy and connected straight away without any problems. And it happened the first time around. So for me, that is a big bonus. So do check them out on Amazon. They've got great reviews online and personally myself, I think they're awesome as well. I do recommend if you're looking to spice up your living room with a bit more color, then do check these out. They're a third of the price of maybe Philips Hue lighting and definitely so easy to set up. So no problems with hubs, bridges or anything like that. And uh, you're set to go. So hopefully you found that review useful guys. If you did like this video, then do give it a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe. I've got some more cool videos coming out very soon. And until next time, take care. Oh,